Hey, this is Dark Jedi, and thank you for watching this video. If you're new to skills and new to two minute football, this is going to be a great introduction into the game. And they just had a major update. So, even if you have played two minute football and your scores aren't where they used to be, watch this video. This is going to give you some good tips and tricks and how to best maximize your score. Now, in the description of this video, I'm going to leave a link to this game. So if you do want to play for money, want to play for cash prizes, download the skills app and get started. There is a small bonus promo code you can use if you want to use Dark Jedi SA. All you have to do is when you make your first uh, cash deposit, enter the promo code right there. So let's jump right into it. So they did update two minute football and it is crazy because uh, I can talk back and forth over the changes of how it was before and how it is now, but I'd rather show you in action because it's actually a little bit uh, different. It, it, it's, it's interesting. <clears throat> the scores can be a lot higher, but that means you're going to have to play a lot better to get the uh, a win. Uh, and so one thing that I want to start off with is saying that check the skills app because there will be promo codes for tournaments and they're not going to show up on your screen otherwise you have to enter in uh the the promo code in uh this section here let me show you where it is um so down here where it says enter match code if you go to the skills app there is a code right now that's going to expire in two days it'll give you five entries into this hundred dollar tournament so i'm entered into it right now uh, let's take a look at where I am. So right now I am in fifth place. I will win $5 for a $0 investment and I have one try left. So we'll go ahead and run the video with this last entry. I don't think I'm going to top my score, but I sure as heck going to try. Now, Tom Brady sucks. That guy is my bane. I cannot beat this guy. But most of these other people I've played and, and we're usually 50-50. Like you can click the po uh, opponent here and see your win-loss ratio. So right now, Dragon Demonol has my number. Uh, let's see, Sunblocker, where Sunblocker is. No, I've played this guy. So um, I've won four of the last six, so a little, you know, losing a little bit to this person. Von Miller will sack you. Let's see what my record is against this person. 50-50. Um, no, actually, I've won um, four of seven matches. Tom Brady sucks, kicks my ass, man. I hate this guy. Uh, one of nine. So, yeah, I do not like playing that guy. Let's see if I've played Mooney. I don't recognize the name, but I'm sure I've played them. I've lost once to Mooney. So all these people, I mean, they're, they're fairly good. Their, their scores are up here on the, on the record board, uh, and you'll go back and forth with a lot of these people. Uh, so, anyways, let's jump into a match. We're going to do the last uh, preseason match that I have entry four. And so here's the biggest update that they've made so far. As soon as you release the ball, the receivers all move towards the ball. So the, 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 the path that you see on the screen, they are locked into it until you toss the ball up. So what you can do is like, I, I got a glimpse of the play that's going to be on uh, behind this as soon as I hit play. But on the right hand side of the screen, I'm just going to pass it past the receiver to the right away from the route and what that's going to do is going to cause my receiver to to start running to the sideline before the route tells him to run to the sideline once i catch the ball the defense will have to catch up to that receiver and sometimes i can have a breakaway run so let's see if that's what i'm going to do here oh actually this one's a little bit different i'm going to toss it straight up the middle and then spin so that one um, because the defender was already on the far right, I did not want to throw it into them. So let's see. This one we're going to go for a Hail Mary. And there we go. Hail Mary. And we score another touchdown. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So this that's what I was talking about right there. So right there I tossed it far to the left, way off the track of where the receiver was in the old uh, way to play the receiver would just stay blindly to the track and would just ignore the ball. And so you had to hit them where they were going to be. Otherwise, um, you simply would, the receiver would simply just miss the ball. And so you can see I'm doing that trick here right off the snap. I'm, oh, let's see if I can get it. Oh, spin. Oh, come on. So close. 
And I'm not too worried about maximizing my score. I don't think I'm going to beat my record because I, I did really good. I got eight touchdowns and like a few Hail Marys, which is incredibly hard to do. Um, oh, oh, let's get in there. Okay, so I have time for one more. Oh, and then I did a no-no there. I tossed it to a side where there were two receivers. And I hate to say it, but my receivers, they tend to make my life harder for me. Man, and if I had... So if I had gotten out of bounds just one of the times that I didn't get stopped, I think it would happen once, I would have had time for another uh, touchdown. I missed it by one second. Um, so anyways, what I was saying is... Um, if you throw it to a side with both receivers, your receiver tries to help by like pushing everybody around. But what I've seen that, that happens is it's behind the play. So you end up, oh, some blocker. That was one that we had seen the one loss ratio. And I think I was losing to, uh, you end up, um, you end up having that wide receiver pushing the defenders into you at a speed that's like like they're doing it right now see those that defender should not be catching on me but my receivers are trying to help and in that scenario it doesn't really matter because um i was so far ahead of the play but when you're neck and neck with the the receiver uh or with the the corner um it they will get to you and uh it's really annoying because you know what's going to happen and there's really nothing you can do um, let's see, that's that pass to the left that I was talking about, and it got me the touchdown there. Okay, we're going to do another Hail Mary. You see that I'm running back a little bit? That's to give the ball more air time. Oh, I did not get out of bounds. I was trying to get out of bounds, and instead I swiped. Um, so... When you see me running backwards like that, it's because I want to give the ball more air time because then that gives the wide receiver more time to catch, uh, to run up to where the ball is going to be. So when you're going to throw it as a Hail Mary, you have to uh, place the ball really far down the field. But if if they run out of, of movement because their line has stopped, they will just run back to the middle. No, oh, that was risky. See how the receiver is getting push, uh, pushing in the corners back to me? Not very smart of the AI there. Out of bounds, out of bounds. Okay, I just wanted to see if I can get one more Hail Mary out of this play. And you can get a Hail Mary. You just got a... Uh, that looks good. Boom. Okay. So, uh, scores at 83,000. Hopefully that's enough for a win. And don't worry, like, if you're like, man, I can't score 83,000 and, and if I lose... I get paired up with, with like the top score play players because I've been playing for so long. All right, cool. So I got a win against some blocker. Let's see the win-loss ratio. Uh, oh, it's over here. All right, so we're even now. <laughs> All right, so let's play again. And so uh, leave me any questions in the uh, comments below if uh, you are having a hard time with this game. I would love to give you some advice on how to play. Uh, one thing that I've noticed too is that the defenders are very uh, sturdy. They don't they don't just flop over anymore when you spin into them. Some of them do, but most of them don't. So, oh, like that one. That one just like knocked right over. Uh, so sometimes you just have to abandon the play and just run out of bounds. Like right there, I'm not even going to bother spinning because if I had spin, uh, it, it probably would not have uh, mattered. That guy on the left just falls over pretty easily. A lot of these uh, safeties, they don't. So that time, the wide receiver was ahead. It was right next to me, so they're actually doing their job. But if they're on the other side of the defender, they push them into you, which is really annoying. Uh, on this Hail Mary play, I like to throw it really deep. It does cost some time in the sense that it takes way longer for the ball to get there. But uh, sometimes you can get behind the safeties and just run it all the way in. We just released right at the snap. Just got some yardage and got out of bounds as quickly as I can. Sometimes when there's a blitz, you can still go for the Hail Mary. You just have to see which guy is blitzing. So right there, even though it was a Hail Mary uh, I, I, or a blitz, I still chose to uh, do the Hail Mary. And that one might. Uh, I was trying to go for the Hail Mary, and that actually cost me time uh, that I don't really have 
to spare. Okay, five seconds to score one more touchdown. So on this one, I'm just going to try to get close enough so that a Hail Mary will get me the touchdown. And... Oh, okay, perfect. I was like, that's not a Hail Mary play. Like, there's not even a way to trick it into doing a Hail Mary play. And that looks good. Boom, touchdown. 79,000 points. So a little lower than my last score. The name that popped up, I've never played before, so we'll see how good they are. 73,000. All right, so that's two wins in a row. This will be my last one. I think I've, oh, and I'm not even paired up against anybody, so this definitely will be my last one. Oh, that's another update. They uh, made it so if you're playing the same team, so here you can see I'm playing the Cowboys. They've made it so that my players have a golden aura to them, which is kind of nice. All right, so you can see here how I'm just, like on the right-hand side of the screen, I'm throwing the ball well before my player was done running their route. And uh, you can see the wide receiver just changes his direction and uh, will chase the ball as soon as you throw it. So pay no attention to the route. Uh, the wide receiver will make an effort to catch it now, where before they would just ignore it and finish their route. And that one, sometimes you can get out of bounds even though you're uh, aiming down the middle. Whoa, that was close. Oh, I didn't get the Hail Mary, though. At least I got the touchdown and I didn't get sacked. But uh, I was trying to squeeze in a Hail Mary, but I had to release it too soon. Uh, and so I judge my play by how effectively I can get out of bounds. Because uh, at the end of the day, that's really all you can control. Uh, going downfield and scoring as many points as possible. Um, so I am not doing as good as I would like of getting out of bounds this game. And uh, right now I only have five touchdowns, so I'm going to end with six touchdowns here. So we're just going to get a little closer. Just doing these little quick passes because I want to get into touch uh, Hail Mary territory. There's the Hail Mary. So that gives you an extra 3,000 points and the touchdown. So 73,000 points. I had a few tackles in field that, you know, cost me an extra touchdown. Uh, or, you know, typically eight is the most that I can do. So that will probably be a loss, you know, compared to the people I've been paired up with. But that's the game. Remember to leave me some comments in the video. If you have any questions, I'd love to do a follow-up video. Thank you so much for watching. You have a good day.